Plan International through rising project with the funding from Germany National Office aiming at creating opportunities for children to access quality and inclusive primary education has this afternoon, 9th April 2024, handed over complete school structures to the school and community of Pamenya, Alwala, Nyarondier and Ramogi Primary School respectively. The structures comprise of one block of two classrooms with an office, two stands latrines for teachers, five stands latrines for boys and five stands latrines for girls at Alwala Primary School has given hope to improve education in Atego and Akurusa County. While landing over the structures to the school administration on Tuesday 9th April 2024, Mr. David Okwaimongo, the head teacher of Pamenya Primary School, lauded Plan International for their continued support to schools in rural areas. Given them so many names, I can call them Savior. I can call them our friends, our partner, because of wonderful things they have done for us and have made us who we are today, as you're trying to see us. So we are for that day of commissioning the wonderful things that plan have done for us here. In fact, last year it was around also March. When disaster came and also captured us seriously here in Pamina, a strong wind came and it blew off our room. You can see the wall remaining there. We were left helpless and no life. Mr. Elino Omashar, the acting area manager, Plan International West Nile Region, says they are committed to help other schools as long as communities are cooperating with them. The district leadership both political and technical at all levels, for welcoming plan. Thank you for the support we are getting in terms of dealing with some community challenges. Chairman Atego, I remember we had a very big challenge here. And today you testify, you are giving me hope. That is not the same Atego that I came to meet at a time. That is great. And I believe we shall continue to see that Atego becomes what you want to see in your dreams. Nebi Deputy Resident District Commissioner Hassan Basalera cautions both pupils and teachers against misusing the structures. He further encouraged parents to give basic support to their young girls in school. Because of Plan International. When I came in, as the DEO said, you know, we had assignments when we were going to two districts. During campaigns, you people who are this way, you don't know what happened in Kampala. We have the so-called NGOs. Some of them are briefcase NGOs. They have no address, they have no everywhere, and others, they are supporting homosexual. So that money which they used to have, that's when they used to fight. Emmanuel Urombi, Nebi District chairperson, task other non-governmental organizations working Nebi District to emulate what Plan International has done for rural schools through construction of good classroom blocks, latrines, among others. Great work you are doing. You see, I always tell people, our people like stories so much. We say, what is the name of your organization? Sir, you know our name. Our name, they take time, then they say, so and so, international. I say, if you are international, where are you? In Uganda, we do this. I say, ah, you talk about Nebi. In Nebi, we are in Yarafur, where? They say, ah, in Bar West, where? In one village. But if they begin to criticize government and they talk, I say, they're very big. So I'm so international, so I'm so Uganda, but nothing on the ground. So, but for plan, it is visible. You can just see and you say, this is plan. You don't need signposts even. Even without signposts, they are visible, community know them. Apparently, almost everyone knows what plan is in Navy. That's why when we stop even plan, they know the other international now they can finish that English one. 
Paminya Primary School is a government-aided school with only two classroom blocks for both administration and staff room, but the new blocks has renewed hope in learners for better education. Alfred Jawok, West Nile TV, Nilecast.